The Myology Institute at the University of Florida uh, is an institute that's devoted to the study of basic muscle biology, translation of that knowledge into potential therapeutics, and development of those therapeutics in patients. The main mission really is, a, is ultimately about serving the society by trying to develop ways to combat things that go wrong with muscle. What's unique about the UF Myology Institute is the sheer number of people that we have and the breadth of what we do I think is unparalleled. We're interested in, in muscle diseases, but we're also interested in the muscle disease we all have, which is the fact that when we get old, our muscles get weak. And so we're trying to develop therapies that would help these severe muscle diseases, but many of them we think will help the average person someday. To complement our strengths in muscular dystrophy, we also have a number of basic science research programs. And for example, one of them is in the intersection of circadian biology, the molecular clock, and muscle cell homeostasis. This is a very basic science project in which we're trying to understand the role of this newly emerging concept that there is this clock mechanism within every single cell within our muscle that serves to time different things across the day for homeostasis. What's really a great strength here in the Myology Institute is as we learn some of these basic mechanisms like how these molecular clock factors are playing a role, then we can work with our colleagues that are doing more translational work to take what we're learning from the basic science and see if we can actually help implement new strategies and new therapeutic strategies for a variety of muscle syndromes or muscle pathologies across the chronic diseases. We're very fortunate here to be part of an NSF national lab, and it's the National High Field Magnet Lab, which is a consortium between University of Florida, Florida State, and Los Alamos. And within this lab, the mission is to be able to provide the highest magnetic fields in the world to external users. In our case, we use these magnetic fields to study magnetic resonance in biological samples, which means I study muscles at some of the highest magnetic fields possible. It's a unique opportunity here is because we have MRI instruments, especially in Tallahassee, go up to 21 Tesla, which is the highest field and world record holder for MRI in the world. We use these imaging techniques to be able to visualize this inside the muscle in real time and be able to learn more about what's happening in the biochemistry as well as the overall physiology. The Physiological Assessment Corps at the Myology Institute is one of the key resources that we have. One of the major assays that we perform is isolated muscle function or strength testing in um, various muscles in the mouse models that we are characterizing. That assay is used for both evaluating potential therapeutics in muscle disease. It can assay alterations in properties of force production dependent upon the genetics of a mouse or we can monitor things on a long-term basis and evaluating over time how a genetics would alter physiological function. We are involved in a number of different clinical trials. Uh, so we serve as a clinical trial site. We collect uh, functional data here, strength measurements, and really help to characterize the muscles in the context of clinical trials. But we also have a very long history of acquiring natural history data, and those data are shared with sponsors so they can really improve their clinical trial design. And then finally, over the last three years, we've put a lot of effort into building a large uh, imaging clinical trial network with sites across the United States and Europe. And so those sites are available for sponsors to perform clinical trials. From the standpoint of a, a trainee, I think the Myology Institute offers unparalleled opportunities. Students are a necessary part of our research. Within the Myology Institute, they can interact with graduate students across a number of different colleges, and there's just tremendous expertise for students to learn from. Muscle biology, as much as it is a disease burden on the society for aging and all of the diseases is really underrepresented as a discipline at most universities. And even at medical schools, there's very little that's taught about muscle and the diseases of muscle. So this is one of the few places in the world where you could go and really learn about it in depth and, and focus your career on it. As we build our faculty and build our trainees, our outflow that will benefit the society will just build and build as well.